Cheers, Drew. Cheers to you, Bri Brian. That was a hesitant clink. That was a, it was a pink. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. All right. Well, good, good, good. We're ready for tonight. Today. So, uh, tonight? I'm already ready for tonight. <laughs> Whoa. You got the shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> you got the shirt on. It's like I do got the shirt on. Space looking. I gotta say, you got this look, Drew. It's it's a look like I've never seen before. Thank you. The oh, Mr. Feeny space. Oh, Mr. Feeny. You know, I'll take that as a compliment That's because great. Mr. Feeny has got it together. <laughs> I'm telling you. Wow. We're gonna do something new today. We are. I am hesitant about what this is gonna be. This is Drew's idea to do this. We don't even. We don't even know exactly what we're going to call it. No. We had some brainstorms. But he's got a lot of pens over there, and I was like, Brian, you know what we could always do? I could just go in and pick a bunch of random crazy pens out of your collection and make you talk about them without you having any idea what I'm picking. Great idea, right? Yay! And he was, was like, like, sure. Okay. Let's keep that in the back pocket for when I haven't adequately prepared the intended right now. And that is today. Nah. <laughs> but we could call it something like <clears throat> Brian's bounty or, you know, Synonymous with treasure is sometimes booty, so Brian doesn't like that idea for whatever reason. I don't know, but Brian's whatever. Brian's booty? No. I think it, no. it doesn't no. quite... <laughs> Join us next time for that installment of Brian's booty. It has the alliteration? Yeah, alliteration is important, but anyway, but if, if you think this is cool and you want to see more and you are creative, more creative than we are, it could be called something. I feel like there's something to this. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna test out the idea of this. If you all like it and want to see it again, you can help us come up with a proper name. So I think that three pens is a good idea. However, I have a fourth okay. thing in here for you to talk about, which okay. is kind of a bonus. And we'll get started with that first. So um, you're gonna start with the bonus first. Yes. This is what just, is we're that? Just, we're setting we're setting the all right. tone. All right, let's open Should this I thing. like keep my eyes closed? Yeah, so I let's. All right. Oh, you're just putting them all in the box. Okay. All right, open your eyes. Oh my gosh. What's that? This is called a uh, napkin. Uh, it's not a fountain pen. It's not a, <laughs> it's not a, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's not a pencil, it's not a pen. So basically it's got some kind of metal that comes from outer space or something. <laughs> I don't know what, but it basically, it, it writes kind of like a pencil. <clears throat> On a napkin? Can you write with a napkin on a napkin? This is technically a paper towel. See, this is what the public needs but to know. It's, it's close. Uh, no, no, it really doesn't. So that's weird. It's a napkin for paper. So it's literally it's not a napkin it's for napkin. Metal. Apparently, they say it's supposed to last forever. So it's called the napkin forever. This was something that was distributed by Yaffa at a time. I don't believe they distribute it anymore. But yeah, it, it writes like a pencil. It literally looks like graphite, except there's no. There's nothing there. It's it's just it's the metal. Something that with the way the metal is reacts it, with the paper, it changes it to look like graphite. Or so like there you pencil, go. But it's not actually graphite. It's it, apparently you can write with it forever. Weird. Though. There you go. I, I, I'm hesitant to believe that it actually would write forever. <laughs> All right. None of us will ever know. So we'll get into some legit fountain pens now. Okay. All right. Good. Well, actually, no, maybe not. I actually don't know what this is. It's some sort of pen. Okay. All right, Brian, talk about this. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> This is called a selfie pen. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, this is made You're by Monteverde. What? Um, and so it's got an iOS and an Android button. Uh, and the, what it is, it's, it's basically like a Bluetooth remote that you can use for your phone. Oh, so you can set up okay. your, it's a pen uh -huh. with a stylus tip. Like a ballpoint? Yeah, a so I ball? think it's a twi twist. How does it, you twist the end, there okay, you go. there we go. There's your ballpoint. There we go. And you can then link it up to your phone set up your phone across the room and go blink and take a selfie with with your pen i guess because you've got to have the pen can we can we, bluetooth so you can have you can is is, is andy's camera bluetooth uh i don't think that her camera is an iOS I, or an android because that'd be fun i could just kind of i don't know if i can mess with the camera while we're doing this that'd be great can, no <laughs> I don't know if it like has to be paired. The batteries might be dead in this thing. <laughs> it's been there for a while. Okay. Right. It would have to pair with it. But anyway, that's the concept. And it's, wow. a, it's a great color too. I, what, you know. what is this? Like what color, what would you call this? Uh, anise green? Mm. Anise? That is actually pretty close. It is, yeah. What's, what's, a, what's puce? I always want to call something puce, but I, I never have the opportunity. Like a, I think it's like a light pink. Dang it. Yeah. All right. I, I'm I only gonna, know that from Monsters, Inc. I'm going to get an opportunity to call something puce. Sometime today. Look up what color it is. I All think right. it's pink. 
I'm gonna. I'm, I don't care what color it is. I'm just gonna call you, something it. YouTubers will let us know. All it. right. Next up. Okay. Oh, this. Okay, this is. You know what? I should have picked some fountain pens today. Now that did I think you pick about no it. fountain pens? So uh, this one's. You did. So this one's sort of. This one's sort of a fountain pen. Um, this one. Oh my gosh, I'm failing to remember. Was it Schmidt? The exact name of it. No, this no. was like an independent. Uh, oh, it was a Kickstarter. That, I think. Made this. It was a, either a Kickstarter or somebody just just made it. Um, so it's a glass pen that um, has a converter. So it's essentially, it fills like a fountain pen and is, re is has its own reservoir. It's really thin. But it's got a glass tip. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it was originally uh, given to me because we were looking at uh, possibly carrying it. So you can, like, take it apart. And I think I remember how this works. It just maybe comes right off. <clears throat> it was really, oh. it, was, it was rather expensive because I think the person that designed it you know, was an independent person. They didn't have like, you know, economies of scale. Mm -hmm. So I think this thing was around like $175. And I was like, the steep. concept is really cool, but yeah. that's a lot of money for a refillable yeah. glass pen. And I think the idea was they wanted to write with wine. That was their whole thing. And so that was that was the original concept. Huh. There you go. So it's a, a reservoir glass pen. Reservoir. And that is, it's actually pretty long too. It is, yeah. But it's thin, it's light, you know, it's pretty usable. Interesting. Glass tip, I think there was like interchangeable glass tips too. Okay, there we <clears> go. So very cool concept, but I just didn't think that there was enough demand out there to warrant carrying it. Well, there you go. All right, well, I've messed with you enough. Three very, <laughs> very odd random things. I, I have a number of things like this in that pen cabinet. Oh, we noticed. That I, that I never show. Yes, oh, we definitely noticed, so. There's more where this so, came from. Full disclaimer, we're not going to carry these. Like, <laughs> we've already looked at them and we're like, nope, we either, like we can't distribute them or whatever, but anyway. But uh, I thought I'd be kind to you and give, you know, throw it throw, throw give you, me something legitimate. Throw you something that you're going to want to talk about. <laughs> okay, fair enough. All right. All right, I can look cuz it's the last thing in the box. Oh yeah. Okay. This is a good one. <laughs> yeah. This is a good one. So, I posted this on my personal Instagram when I got it. So this is a uh, this is a pen wrap that has a pen in it. Um, so I'll show you the pen wrap here. If any of you know uh, Jake Weidman, who's the gentleman that did said drawing behind me, um, he is a master penman, calligrapher, artist, jack of all trades, super guy. He did a collaboration with Ryan Krusak, mm -hmm. who is also an artist, pen maker, uh, and uh, just they are both two of the nicest people, like most genuine people. They have like these kind of like picture perfect families. Like they're both great family men and they run these family businesses together with their wives and kids. And uh, they collaborated on this pen and I was like, well, I have to get this. Is that where the <clears throat> pen wrap came from? Because I know that Ryan's, Ryan's daughter, daughter sometimes- makes the pen wraps. Yeah. yeah. So his daughter, who's I think 11 or 12 mm -hmm. maybe, like makes these pen wraps, sells them at pen shows with Ryan. So mm -hmm. it's like total family business. And uh, the two of them, when they, they linked up together, I was like, well, this is such an obvious, uh, you know, collaboration. Mm -hmm. So it's an ebony pen. It's made of wood. So, of course, I'm like, you know, <laughs> it's this all is the a buttons. wood pen. I really wanted to get one of Ryan's pens for a long time anyway. I just didn't quite have one that spoke to me enough because it's an expensive pen. It was over $500. And uh, this one I'm paying full retail. I'm not buying this one right. wholesale like I normally would get to with the pen that we carry. Um, so it was a bit of an investment, but I wanted to support these guys. And uh, of course the theming behind it um, is really great. Jake has this um, thing with birds and uh, you know, of course it's really great. So it's Jake's artwork, Ryan made the pen. And uh, yeah, I love it. It's really beautiful. And uh, he did, a, he did uh, this was a blue filled version. He didn't he do like a white yeah, one? A white and then another color. Yeah. I can't remember what it was. But. Yeah. And uh, the theme here is united by a common wind. Common wind, yeah. So it's and about like their common love for artistry and, and just a like you know a unification symbolism there. Yeah, lots of symbology. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah, cool. Good, good choices, Drew. These All were, right. These were interesting, taking me down memory lane here. Very nice. Um, so yeah, let us know what you think of this general format. I have a number of like paper products and ink as well that we could also oh, expand yes. into. So so something else to think about. There's a lot of random ink back there. There's a lot of random stuff. So if you want to hear like backstories of stuff, we could just kind of sprinkle these in here and there, just have, always have it in our back pocket. Um, so if you like this, uh, there you go, just a little entertainment value. So uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already, thank you so much for watching and 
Right on.